And today we're excited to show you two different things. How we've taken our Built Wild to the extreme, at the same time how we can start enhancing Built Wild with something here. And to help tell you more about this, I have Esteban Plaza Jennings from Bronco Marketing to kick us off. Thank you. Thanks, Gian. My name is Esteban Plaza Jennings, and I am the Bronco brand manager. This vehicle behind me is really, we're very excited to be showing it here for the first time at an auto show. Like Gian mentioned, we've had a ton of momentum with the Bronco brand. We've had over 120,000 orders for the vehicle, and more excitingly, we've had over 11,000 customers go through our four Bronco off-rodeo locations around the country. Hey gearheads, we are at the 2022 Chicago Auto Show at the Ford booth, if you cannot tell by this beautiful rig behind me in the Bronco Raptor, and I'm here with Esteban. Esteban, nice to have you. Thanks very much. So I've got a lot of questions in just a little bit of time right. uh, to pick your brain about it. So uh, just a quick overview of what the Bronco uh, Raptor means to the Bronco brand. Sure. It is our most capable version of Bronco. It is all of our race learnings that we've, that we've accumulated racing in all sorts of different races across the country. We've built them into this vehicle to basically have a street legal race car for our customers. That's amazing. So uh, starting under the hood, there is a big new change under the hood here. So what can you tell me about the power plant of the Bronco Raptor? Yep, so it's got a three liter twin turbo echo boost engine, uh, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. This is a unique powertrain for Bronco. So the only place you can get the three liter is, is in the Raptor. Uh, and we're targeting over 400 horsepower from the power plant. Uh, that's, that's impressive and those are good numbers to hear. So thank you very much for that. Uh, increased width on this. This is almost nine inches wider than a standard Bronco, correct? Yep, yeah, we had to, uh, so we've gone to 37 inch tires. Uh, obviously the ride height's increased as well. So in order to maintain that planted driving dynamics that we need for a high speed desert racer, we've widened the vehicle. And that allows it to stay planted at speed. All right, so one of the things uh, that owners have asked about are the rock rails here and the side steps. Yep. Uh, you mentioned earlier in the press conference, these steps are actually six bolts and they're removable, so you don't have to worry about dragging them. Uh, are these frame mounted or are they body mounted uh, like other Bronco models? It's similar to other Bronco models. They're a little bit beefed up versus other Bronco models because this is a heavier vehicle, um, but they are similar to the body mounted style that you would see on the on the other Bronco series. Okay. They are they are weight rated though, so they can withstand holding the weight of the vehicle in rock crawl situations. Okay, awesome. And then the upgraded tech on the inside of this. This has got the 12 inch screen, uh, 360 cameras, all, all the other added technology that you would expect uh, paying 70000 for a vehicle, correct? Yeah, so it comes standard with our high package. The packages are set up the same way as on the base Bronco series, so high is standard. Lux is optional. There are, you alluded to, some unique pieces of uh, Bronco only sort of stuff. So we have the 12 inch um, IP cluster behind the steering wheel. Um, and that's kind of like, it's, it's definitely um, something that's unique and it's awesome to see it uh, when it's fully displayed and you can customize it to your own needs. And there's also some other unique tech like active, uh, active exhaust, um, as well as being able to change the damper settings on the Fox 3.1 shocks. All right, so the big question is, how do customers get a hold of these? We know between uh, chip shortages and uh, top issues that, thank God, have been uh, resolved, uh, what is the expectation for getting these out to consumers? Yeah, so the Raptor is going to go on sale starting this summer. The majority of these trucks are going to go to existing order holders. Um, if you are out there and are interested in getting your hands on a Raptor, the best way is to go talk to your dealer. Uh, a lot of dealers have wait lists going for them, um, and that's really the best way to, to get on the list. It will be produced for multiple model years, so um, obviously 22 is going to be very hard to get. It's a half model year of production, so um, it'll be around. All right, so uh, being that it's a half model year, is there a set number that uh, of Bronco Raptors that y'all are gonna produce this year, or w w what does that kind of look like for production? Yeah, so we uh, don't break out production of our special vehicles, so you know we're gonna do our best to get as many out there as we can. Um, 
we want to get this truck in customer hands, but it will be very limited availability in the first model year. All right, so shifting gears a little bit, uh, it's quite crowded over there, but we'll touch base a little bit on the other product that y'all yeah. unveiled here today, and that is the Everglades model, which uh, I absolutely adore. The color on that one, eruption green, correct? Yeah. yeah. So uh, based on the black diamond edition, but what makes the Everglades so special? Yeah, we've done a number of different things. So it has the Sasquatch package standard. It has that worn Xeon 10S winch up front. And it also has a snorkel, which is only available on Everglades. So uh, some very unique capability enhancements there. And then there are some appearance aspects as well that we've done to the vehicle. So it has unique wheels. It has unique fender and fender flares, which have been more squared off versus rounded. Um, it also has some unique color accents on the interior. All right, and then uh, I noticed it's also got the 12 inch infotainment screen. Yep. Uh, does it have the 360 cameras and everything that you would need for off-roading and making sure you're clear of any obstacles? Yeah, great question. So uh, what we've done on Bronco Everglades is since we're starting with the Black Diamond Foundation, that is uh, goes up to the mid package. And so we've added the mid package as standard on that vehicle, but we know customers are clamoring for the 12 inch display. So we've actually added the 12 inch display to the mid package, whereas previously you had to jump up to the high package to get it. Okay, so you can get the 12 inch that's kind of exclusive to the black diamond trim level, but- Yeah, you, you previously could not get a 12 inch on right. a black diamond, yeah. So this is what's exciting about how, we're, how we've repackaged the mid package for Everglades. Kind of making it, again, its own special edition. And so similar story there, 2022, uh, will it be available for future model years or it, are y'all kind of pun intended testing the waters? Yeah, so Everglades is going to be available in 22 exclusively to existing order holders. Um, we think that's important because we want to reward our customers who have been with us for this journey. Um, and we want to, that's what's so exciting about bringing these vehicles to market is that we're giving them some new exciting products that they can potentially uh, purchase if they so choose. Well, thank you so much uh, for taking some time to talk about some awesome products. Uh, just kudos to you and your team on continued success and uh, looking forward to seeing these out on the road and on the trails. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.